Hey everyone, in today's video, we're talking about how retiring early will affect your social security benefits. But this is gonna be more than just talk. I'm gonna show you a calculator where you can get your own personalized results. But before we jump in, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe and hit that notifications bell. The calculator that we're looking at today is just the beginning of what we hope to offer you in the future. Uh, in fact, there's two other calculators that are almost ready for release and a few others planned for release after that. When they're ready, I'll make a video on it. And if you're subscribed, you're gonna be notified. So let's dive right in with a warning. This video is best suited for those who are really serious about retiring early. I'm not gonna have a lot of fluff in here, but this will be more in depth than most of the simple discussion videos you find online. But I know that if you're serious about this topic, you're probably not gonna mind because you've probably already noticed that early retirement is a dream that a lot of people have, but only a few actually get to experience it. And what often separates those who just dream about it from those who actually get to retire early is how well they planned. And today, I wanna to help you figure out how early retirement will affect your Social Security benefit. The first thing to know is that you cannot trust your Social Security benefits estimate. For those retiring early, this is a horrible indication of what you can expect as a benefit payment. There are two big problems with this estimate that make it a completely unreliable source of information. Now we're gonna cover those two problems, but for them to make sense, we really need a basic understanding of how your Social Security benefit is calculated. Now, if you wanna get more in depth on that topic and look at how to calculate your own benefit, Check out the description for links. I'll put some videos and articles down there I've created that go through this step by step in excruciating detail. But for purposes of this video, I just wanna hit the highlights. So the Social Security Administration uses your lifetime earnings as the beginning point of the calculation, but they don't use your earnings at face value. Instead, they adjust your historical earnings for inflation. And this gives them an indication of what your historical earnings are when expressed in today's dollars. Now, this inflation adjustment goes through age 59. Once you hit 60, and for all years after that, your earnings are not inflated, but they're used at face value. Then once they have a complete history of all of your inflation-adjusted earnings, the administration wants to get a monthly figure. So they take the highest 35 years of earnings and add them together. Now, it's very important to understand that for retirement benefits, they always use 35 years. So if you retire without accumulating 35 years, understand that the formula will use your earnings and then fill in the missing years with zeros to get the total up to 35 years. When we get to the calculator in just a moment, you're gonna see how that may change things. Once they have your highest 35 earnings years, then they divide the sum by 420, which is simply the number of months in 35 years. This is referred to as your averaged index monthly earnings. Now, they commonly use the acronym AIM when referring to this, but once they have this number, they apply a formula that's specific to individuals who are 62 in that calendar year. Now, this is often called the Ben Point formula or the PIA formula. But let me stress a critical piece of this formula. For retirement benefits, only the formula for the year you attain 62 is used. Even if you work late and add additional earnings to your record that need to be included later, they'll still go back and use the formula in place in the year you turn 62. Now that's gonna be a really important piece of figuring out how early retirement affects Social Security in just a little bit. So once they take your averaged index monthly earnings and apply it to the formula, the result is your full retirement age benefit, also known as your primary insurance amount or PIA. It's this benefit that's then adjusted based on your filing age. If you file early, it'll be reduced. If you file later, it'll be increased. So that's the 10,000 foot view of the calculation, but now you're gonna be in a better position to understand why you can't rely on your benefits estimate when planning to retire early. And the biggest problem with this estimate is that the Social Security Administration assumes that today's numbers will not change. Now there's really two separate problems here that I'd like to break down. Number one is they don't inflate your future earnings. Your calculation likely works just fine if you're at least 62, but by that time you have enough years of real earnings to run through the calculation and thus you don't need the Social Security Administration to erroneously estimate your future earnings. They assume that what you earned in the last year is what you'll earn in the future. 
And if there were no earnings in the last year, they'll look at two years prior and make the same assumption. And if you don't have earnings recorded for the past two years, they'll assume that the future earnings will be zero. So for example, if you're 45 years old and you're earning $75,000 per year, the administration will assume that that exact same $75,000 level of earnings will continue until the various estimated benefit amounts at 62, 67, and 70. Now, the second problem is that they use today's formula. So not only does the administration assume your earnings will never increase, but they also assume the formula will stay the same as it is in the year your estimate is generated. And we know that's incorrect. It generally increases every year and it increases based on changes to the average wage index. In fact, the formula has increased every year since 1979 with the exception of just one year. So the combination of not assuming your wages or the bin point formula will increase renders that benefits estimate nearly useless for purposes of planning in early retirement. And this is where my calculator comes in. So now I want to take this video to my main office and give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use it. So before we get over to the page with a calculator on it, there is one piece of information that you're going to need, and that's your Social Security earnings history. Now, the easy way to get this is to go to ssa.gov, and once you are over there, you're going to see the link to go to My Social Security. And it's in My Social Security that you can either create an account if you need to do that, or you can sign in to your account, either direction you need to go. So once you get that information, then we're ready to go on to the calculator. Now to get to the calculator page, you're simply going to want to go to socialsecurityintelligence.com forward slash calculator. Now this is going to pull up a page that has all of my current calculators on there. At some point in time, all of these are going to be combined into one. But for now, they are all individual and separate calculators. But you don't even have to scroll down to see all the others because the one you need is this very first calculator. And if you'll just click on it, it's going to take you to the uh, login page. So if you've already created a username and a password, you can just log in there. If you need to register, you can hit the register button here, and it's going to take you over to where you put in your information. And again, it's not that much information that's required. It's just your uh, name, you create a username, your email, create your own password, then you sign up. That's all gonna be emailed to you so you don't have to remember what that is. But back on the login page, I've obviously already created a login, so I'm just going to do this. And we're gonna log in. Now that I'm on that site, Here's the calculator. Close this window out. I'm going to assume for a moment that my birthday is January 4th, 1976. That's not my real birthday, but for purposes of this calculation, let's do that because that's going to put me right at 44 years old right now. Um, the next thing that we need to think about is the future earnings inflation. Now we have this labeled future earnings inflation, but the way to think about this is what do you think the general rate of inflation economy-wide is going to be? Not just your personal earnings, but how are wages overall going to increase and even price inflation in the future too? It's, it's hard to forecast that. I know that the Social Security Trustees report believes that around a 4% average increase to wages is what they can expect. Um, most people think that inflation is going to be somewhere between 2 and 3%. I find 2% to be a pretty good number to use. So you can change that to whatever you want to, but I'm just going to run this calculation out at 2%. And then next we'll move on to your desired filing age. So again, understand that when you file and when you retire, obviously it's two completely separate concepts for those who are planning in early retirement. You may say, hey, I want to start my benefit when I'm 62, but I'm going to retire when I'm 50. So for purposes of this calculation and this tutorial, 
I'm going to assume that you're going to file at 62 and zero months. And then as far as the last year of expected earned income, let's just say that you're going to work up until the year 2026. That ought to put you right at 50 years old. So there's going to be a 12-year gap between when you retire, when you earn your last year of income, and when you file for benefits. Now, if we go down here, we'll see a few things here. Number one, your full retirement age is 67. The year you turn 62 is 2038, and we just put that in there for uh, information only. And now we need to plug in the valuable part of the calculator, and that's where your actual earnings are. If you don't see this entry screen, just look for the little arrow here because that opens it up and closes it. So for this illustration, I'm going to assume that this individual that's 44 came straight out of college, trade school, or just went to work when they were 22. Obviously, most situations aren't going to look just like this very generic scenario that we're going to run through here. But the point is still that it's going to work, whatever your earnings history is. So in 1998, let's just say that this individual came out and they had a job paying them $20,000. And miraculously, every year, they got exactly a $1,000 increase. Now, we can go up here based on that estimate. You can see that your benefit at desired filing age is $1,443. Now, if you look at your Social Security earnings estimate during any of these years here, you're going to see a much larger benefit. But again, going back to when we were talking about the way the benefit is calculated, they're making the assumption that all of these years here, you're going to have an income. And that's just simply not going to be the case if you retire early, obviously. Now, you can go back in here then, and you can play with different numbers. You could say, okay, well, what about if, you know, I'm still going to stop working when I'm uh, 50, but I want to maybe file for my benefits at 66. And you can see how that starts to change um, those benefits there. The other thing that you can do, let's just take this back to 62 for a moment, is you could say, what if inflation is more than 2%. What if wages increase by what the trustees think it will? Somewhere between 3%, which would take your benefit up to 1694 all the way up to 4%. Now, again, where this changes your benefit is in the bin point formula. Remember, that's only used in the year you attain age 62, but on an annual basis, that formula is increased based on changes to wages for the year. So, you know, you can play with the inflation numbers, you can play with your age, and play around with the earnings numbers. Because a lot of people, of course, when they retire, they don't immediately retire. They go from the corporate grind down to a part-time job. Maybe you're selling on eBay or you're doing some of the kind of side hustle job in the last few years. And you can put those numbers in here to see how that is going to impact your benefit as well. Just have fun with a calculator. Enjoy using it. There's not a time limit for it. So you can use it for as long as you need to. If you're thinking about early retirement, you've got a lot of big decisions. I hope what we've covered today will make this process a little bit easier. Thank you for watching.